first of all, third year, and like the fan base just keeps getting bigger and crazier. Like, are you at all surprised, like, how many people come out for this? Well, I am, as far as the fan base growing, I was surprised the other day, a dear friend of mine in Hawaii, Maddie, his daughter's like 10, 11, and I've known this girl since she was a baby. You know how girls and kids are, they're like, whatever, my dad's friend, but they started watching the movie at that age, and yes. they're totally into it, so now, now she's nice to me, so it worked, it worked out. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's a, a new generation of kids are watching it, and it's, it's a great movie. So. Cool, cool points there, right yeah, there. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying, now I'm cool. Who awesome. knew? I know, all of, all of a sudden. So we're seeing a lot of the 90s trends kind of make their way back. Is there one that you wish did not? One trend, uh, let's see. Give me an example. I'm trying to think of what's, what trends are coming back right now. Well, Drew just said frosted tips. Oh. Yeah. Well, oh, you know what I've seen recently? But I don't know if this is really the 90s, but that Dallas kind of hair that the... Yeah, there's the a lot wings. of that. The big, the big hair. I never liked it, and it's coming back. So no offense, ladies. Y'all are beautiful, but it's not into the big hair. <laughs> you know, and we know that you left Hollywood. So yes. like, why did you make that decision to leave? Like, do you was there a certain point in your career you were like, you know what, I'm done. This is not what I want to do. And and how has life been since? Well, I still work. I do other things as well. Obviously, as everyone came to discover during a pandemic, it, you need to do other things. So yes. I have other businesses, but I just did a pilot uh, a couple weeks ago and I'm doing another one, so keep him busy. Okay, so you're not late, you didn't no, leave. No. I live in Venice Beach, which is, it feels like leaving. It's so far away from Hollywood. Okay, so then the other thing that you recently did is that you felt like you needed to almost like answer these claims that you were in a cult and you talked about that. So can, why did you feel the need? Because sometimes you would be like, eh, you know. Well. Honestly, we were doing the podcast for Pod Meets World, mm -hmm. and Danielle is such a dear friend, and we were just having a very friend-to-friend -friend conversation on the podcast, so it wasn't uh, intended to necessarily be a, a, a spread or, or I'm just excited. People were excited about it, but <clears throat> yeah, I don't. It's um, it's a, it's an interesting situation. I, I really focused in that conversation about how it's really clickbait they use a, a they use a word like cult and make it something right. more than it really is you know what would your character be doing now what would um, I, you know he could be maybe like a real estate agent and I'm just that's a cheap shot to some friends who are real estate agents no, I'm just kidding real estate agents are great I think he, he would have maybe ha used that kind of arrogance to sell fancy houses or something